everyone, welcome to my home. This is my prayer room and office. This is where I do my work here. And I want to display all the things that I have. I did this about a year ago. Give it the island field. I live out in the Texas. So I want to bring a little bit of aloha to my home. So here's my accent wall here. It's blue. Blue represents prayer. I also did my decor, my wall decor. Uh, it's not a catalog. One that you see, I bought some that was in catalog, and everyone seemed to have the same thing. So I wanted to make mine a little bit different. So I bought my stuff individual and just put it together. So people ask me, oh, how did you do it? You know, First I started off with the mirror. Then I add on. I also have gold frames here. Um, gold is something that the Lord loves. It, it's, the gold represents the Godhead. So here I also have scriptures in the mirror. So I kind of scattered it around. And that's the island of Hilo, a big island. And these candles I've gotten actually at the garage sale. And this was a gift the Ten Commandments, so I add on my decor around it. And then I also have this to remind me to love, to always have my hope anchored, and to, to continue prayer. And this is my window treatment that I put together. Now here is my flower arrangement that I'm going to get started. Everyone been asking me to show them how to do flower arrangement. So I kind of started it. This is a vase that I bought for at the dollar store. The pebbles are dollars in, in the bags. Um, the glass pebbles are also a dollar. Um, the gold one, I got it $3 at Hobby Lobby. It's easy to clean. I just wash it in, in the strainer and then I dry it and then I put it back in there. So it's so easy to clean. I'm going to put these flowers together. I have a gold wood rose, the pur uh, purple, the yellow orchids, uh, and the leaves. I'm going to put this all together. Purple represents the priesthood, the royal priesthood. So it, it's just a give a feeling about you know the presence of God it gives you the feeling of the presence of God everyone always tells me that my house feels very peaceful and that makes me feel so good to know that the presence of God living in my house so I'm gonna finish decorating these flowers and how to how to add in flowers and branches so I'll be right back okay I had to use both of my hands it's not easy to record at the same time and using using just a hand. So it's just adding in your branches, placing them to see where you where it looks good. Because you can always remove them if you don't like it. I'm going to have to use my both hands. I'm going to have to have somebody come in and tape this. When you're doing a flower arrangement, all you have to do is just look at it. I use the smaller flowers. I cut them and uh, I put them in there to see if it looks good there. That's exactly what I did. I cut some of the branches and then I just add it in there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. So I had to work out here on my table, my dining table, because it was falling apart in the autumn. So I just have one more branch to put on here. So we can have like um, some accent colors in here. I put some branches in there, and this is the last branch, and just kind of touch up. Sorry, I had to use my both hands. I had to use both hands to finish this. So this is what my 
flower arrangement looks like. I still gotta kind of finish it up. But can bend the leaves. It's silk flowers and these are wood roses. It still looks like it needs a little bit more adjustment on the on the flowers. It's, it's not how I wanna finish it up. You can bend bend it. In the direction that you want them to go. So this is my gold and purple. And it goes in my centerpiece. On my autumn to my tray. I also spread out some gold pebbles and then there's some purple in here, a little angel, in that picture. It says, as I have loved you, love one another. So if you like my flower arrangements, give me a thumbs up. Okay, mahalo.